All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Caroline, and I am the Communications Coordinator at the Global Sustainable Electricity Partnership, or GSEP. So I'd like to take a moment to welcome everyone to this webinar uh, entitled Spotlight on China, Developing EVs and Charging Infrastructure in a New Energy System. Before we begin, I'll share a little bit more about the GSEP, which is our organization, and our webinars. So the GSEP is a global alliance of the world's leading electricity companies. Our mission is to promote excuse me, sustainable electrification and sustainable energy development worldwide. The objective of these webinars is to allow our member companies to share their perspectives and best practices on technological and strategic issues facing the electricity sector today. So today's webinar is being hosted in collaboration with State Grid Corporation of China. The webinar will last about one hour uh, and we'll have a presentation by the presenter followed by a question and answer period. So when we get to the question and answer period, you can ask your question either using the Q&A system on the right-hand side of your screen or in the chat system on the right-hand side of your screen. And the presenter will respond to your questions verbally. Uh, please make sure that your audio is connected and you can do that via the communicate menu on the top of your screen and that your sound is turned on so you'll be able to hear the presenter deliver their presentation. Um, so I'd like to present to you our presenter for today. It's Dr. Shanzong Tsai. He's a senior engineer and researcher at State Grid Energy Research Institute. His research focuses on policies and business models for smart grids, electric vehicles and charging facilities, and the global energy internet. I will now pass the floor to Dr. Dai to proceed with his presentation. Perfect. I pass the presenter privileges to you, Dr. Dai, so if you will go ahead. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Uh, my name is Dai Xianzhong, works in State Grid Energy Research Institute. The topic we talk today is on development of electric vehicles and the charging facilities in China. The topic has two parts. The first one is development of China's vehicle, electric vehicle and charging infrastructure. The second part is SGCC's business action in charging infrastructure. China's EV development uh, has a very rapid growth. To August this year, the stock of electric vehicle surpassed 2.3 million almost half of the world. The EV market in China will grow into a fast growth phase. We, in the year of 2020, the sales will reach 2 million and the stock will exceed 5 million by 2020. In the year of 2020, uh, the fast growth phase uh, is coming. Battery technology progress makes EV cost decline and the mail range increase. In the past few years, the battery price dropped by 60% and energy density increased by two times and the, the mileage increased by two times. Then we can we look at look at the charging infrastructure development in China. China has 279,000 public charging pairs and 365,000 private ones by August this year. The top 10 provinces in China have 80% of the pairs. Fail electric vehicles have one pair in on average in China. The second part is IGCC's business action in charging infrastructure. As State uh, Grid plays a leading role in EV charging operation field.
as a central government government owned company. It has continued to increase input infrastructure and platform and the interworking ecosystem. The first aspect is infrastructure. SGCC has built a unified charging network nationwide. It covers 26 provinces and owns 66,000 charging pairs, fast charging networks for nine vertical and nine horizontal and two circle highways by 2017. The green lines in the map are vertical highways, the red lines are horizontal highways, the blue lines are circling highways we have uh, built fast charging facilities by SGCC. The second, the second aspect is the platform. Build the largest smart platform to integrate charging facilities. Interconnect other operators already connect 170 thousand charging pairs provide charging and value added service we will introduce later. Uh, this uh, platform is using by is using by SGCC to monitor charging facilities and provide service to EV customers by EV charging APP of SGCC. The last aspect is the ecosystem. Build a smart vehicles integration ecosystem, a fully open and shared charging facility, share rate sharing, multiple layer interconnection, interconnection between pairs, other charging facility operators, and power networks. This is a screenshot of the e charging app of SGCC. Customers can choose different operators, pay by different ways like card and QR code, different and define personal charging preference. Uh, in the same time, uh, SGCC also faced some challenges and uh, challenges in EV uh, charging uh, field. Uh, in this uh, part, we will introduce the challenges, uh, changes and the sol solutions. The first ch challenge is uh, imbalance the development of charging service. EV own, owners find it difficult to charge, and charging operators find it difficult to make profit. Some public charging facility built in the earlier phase about 2010 or 2016 years has no usage ratio because the place they loca locate has busy transportation, high, high parking, and charging price, low charging needs. Charging needs. Uh, many old existing residential quarters doesn't have enough power network capacity for EV charging facilities. Our solution is first, optimize the public charging facility layout. SDC transfer lines used the charging facility to where it's quickly and easily to find and use. Second, upgrade the power distribution network capacity for residential EV charging facility. The third is prepare to construct special power cable to home parking spot only using for charging facilities. But the investment efficiency is very low. So value added services such as advertising, parking spot share, share and charging pair share, clean electricity transaction and interconnecting with, interconnecting with the power grid is necessary business model choice. The second challenge is uh, charging operators like deep pool interaction and cooperation. Different uh, charging operators only share information of location, uh, charging power, charging and parking price, and the value occupied of the facility. But it's impossible to Pay by any operator's APP for all the facility. It's very inconvenient to EV customers. Our solution is making every effort to promote the in collection of large char of charging uh, facility owned by different operators. 
to share pay, payment information and realize payment by any charge AP, charging app. To achieve this goal, SEC wants to establish a new joint stock company with other operators. But the key is to find a reasonable benefit distribution plan to all the parties. Parties. Until now, we didn't have to achieve this, this goal. The, set, the, the third challenge is EV charging and uh, for, uh, EV charging and uh, util, utilities like two two way interaction. EV charging is not is not orderly. The peak EV charging load is at the power system peak load, and much more power grid capacity actually is needed. Your, your utilities need to build more power network and investment efficiency is very low. Our solution is to carry out the orderly charging project, especially for the residential charging, which like space and the power grid capacity to install charging pairs. Second, to deploy smart energy system to provide orderly charging service, clean electricity transaction service for EV customers. Uh, this is a smart energy system service system built by SGCC. It has a function of uh, orderly charging for EV customers and uh, clean electricity transaction uh, to power systems. This part uh, we introduce the integration of electrical to power system. The interaction solutions is as follows: through a multiple level interaction interaction call it we call it generation grid pair vehicle interaction we can optimize the utilization of distribution network capacity and the layout of charging facilities improving the operating efficiency of the first charging facilities uh, interaction scenes contains personal private pi scenes public pi scenes commercial private pi scenes in personal private uh, pile chains, we can use peak and the Wiley price to lead the private EV users orderly charging, saving distribution network capacity in residential quarter. In public pile chains, we can use price different in time of space to lead the private EV users orderly charging, optimizing layout of public charging facilities, increasing facility service ability and improving customer service experience. In commercial private power sense, we can use peak and valley price, auxiliary service price and lead to lead commercial EV users orderly charging and discharging, reducing the charging cost and earn auxiliary service income, imp improving charging facility operating benefit. Uh, EV customers receive price information by APP, e-charging e APP, and decide the time to charge or dis discharge. Only, make, only making simple sighting by mobile phone, they can save charging fee and smooth the load curve. Uh, each charging app of SGC has a function of orderly charging, uh, setting charging phase time, um, charging capacity they need, and very controlled by the utilities. Here is a pilot project uh, uh, constructed by SGC in Henan Province, Zhengzhou City. The project is at a uh, a residential quarter. We choose 10 houses, build 10 orderly charging pairs, and track the total load. The, the green load here is a load without any EV charging load in the first day. The red, the red curve here is, is load, load curve with 10 EV charging in the second day. 
we can see a big gap, a big gap between these two curves caused by EV disorderly charging. The reason for for the gap is that people always charge their EV as soon as they get home after work, and this time period is a load peak. But in orderly charging mode, they would charge avoiding load peak period. The pink curve, the pink curve is a, is a, the pink curve here is a load curve with fail EV choosing orderly charging and the other fail not in the third day. The blue the, the blue one is the load with ten EV choosing orderly charging in the fourth day. We can see that the peak load decrease. The peak load the peak load uh, decrease about uh, thirty percent of the peak load. Uh, the the peak price in China in China is uh, zero to line line five yuan kilowatt hour in the peak load area, but the valley price is only zero point three two yuan kilowatt hour. In in orderly charging mode, one EV charging one hundred percent of the battery capacity can save thirty Chinese yuan. It, if people share their uh, share their charging pairs with other others nearby who doesn't have a charging pair at home, they can earn more money and uh, increase the use rate of the pairs and the power grid capacity. Now we can see we we see look at look at the Beijing case in. 2030 EV stock will increase to 1 million in Beijing. The penetration rate is 16% uh, in Beijing. Power grid in Beijing will have a big challenge to upgrade capacity to satisfy the EV charging needs. In, in 2030, the EV charging load curve will be 330 meg megawatt which is 14% uh, of the total load. The peak load is increased by 14%. Uh, the, load, the load peak and off-peak difference will increase from 46% to 56% to 50, 52%, increasing 60% points. Power system operation will have a balancing problem. In 2030, EV in interconnect with the power grid using orderly, char orderly charging. EV peak charging load comes down to 250 megawatt, decreasing by 40%. The load peak and off peak difference will decrease uh, from 52% to 49% decreasing three percent points, uh, and uh, at the same time, at the same time, it will sell about sell about uh, two point nine billion yuan investment of power grid and charging pairs for Beijing. Here there is a conclusion: China's electric vehicle industry has rapidly fast growth and the market will continue to grow rapidly. Technical practice, market mechanism, and the win-win industrial electrical uh, ecosystem is needed to enforce electric vehicles charging more clean energy. That's all, thank you.